Hey guys, welcome back to Ocean WP tutorial videos. In this video, I'll be taking you guys through the process of how to access your header styles within the WordPress customizer. Stay tuned. So let's go back into our theme panel. All right, as you can see here, we have those six options that I mentioned in the previous video. And for the demonstration of this video, what I'll be doing is I'll be taking you guys through the header options within the customizer. So I've opened up the page and I've opened up the customizer section. And as you can see over here, um, this is the header option that we're going to be playing around with today to show you the options that are available. So if we select header and we go to general, we can play around with the height. You can see that's changed the height. You can change uh, some of the preset stylings that has happened over here. Um, so let's just, uh, you know, let's make it transparent. Now the white background should now disappear, but that looks bad, but it might suit your website that you have depending on the styling. So I'm just gonna change that back to minimal. And you can play around with the fact that, you know, whether or not it's a full width header or a boxed header. So I'm just going to change that to boxed and um, you can see that you would need to play around with the stylings. Maybe the menu is too long, but let's change it back to header full width. Uh, you can change the background color. So let's just make it visible. We don't want that. So I'm just going to revert back to white. Um, okay, let's go back to the header menu. Uh, sorry. Uh, logo. Let's change the logo. You can see that one, so I'm just gonna change it to change logo. And I'm gonna upload files from a new logo section and I'm just gonna do that one. I'm gonna select it. I'm gonna crop it nicely. I'm gonna crop it. And there we go. That now is our new logo. Let's just wait for it to load. We might have to change the styling. If we do want to change the styling or the height or the width, we can just do that. We just slide to which one, whichever one suits your preference. Like that. Let's go back to the menu section. So depending on what type, you know, how many menus you have on your site, you can now choose to see which one displays here. So we have the photo call up, which is the, the default one at the moment. We can change the positioning of it. We can change it to left, right. Um, links effect underline. So if you hover over it, you can see that it might underline now. Let's wait for it to load. You can see it underlines from the left. We can also change the way that the uh, link animates upon hovering over it. So, uh, next effect, we can go to brackets. Let's wait for that to load. You can see now that when you hover over that, it now loads, but we can see that the styling has gone off a little bit. Let me fix that. I think it might be the logo. Anyways, that's not important. Um, all right, and within the social media icons, this is that extra, that is that section over there. If we enabled that, we'd have a list of options that we could choose from, such as the colors of the icons. Like that, and so on. So that is how we kind of uh, play around with the options that are available to us. You can have access to the mobile menu. Um, it's really worth having a look at that. So stay tuned for more videos on the rest of the features that Ocean WP has provided to us. Um, we'll dive into the typography and so on and so forth. Thanks, guys.